Hi, my name is Jeff Gust, and I'm the Chief Corporate Metrologist from Fluke Corporation in Everett, Washington. The theme for World Metrology Day is measurements for transport. Rather than being in a laboratory, I thought we'd travel around the greater Seattle area today to explore some of the many modes of transport that are available and think about the critical measurements that are utilized to keep them up and running. When we can meet in our cars or take a train or ride in an airplane or even take a ferry boat to get from point A to point B, we don't really think about the thousands of measurements that are involved in getting us safely to our destination. The second industrial revolution one of the key concepts was parts interchangeability. And Henry Ford took that concept and built it into his assembly line. He partnered with C.E. Johansson, the inventor of a length standard called the gauge block, and they founded the, the Ford C.E. Johansson company to build stand, reference standards to calibrate uh, their, their assembly line. So we're just passing the Boeing factory in Everett, Washington right now, and it makes me think about measurements associated with airplanes. Elevation measurements and speed measurements on airplanes are measured as a function of pressure. So these pressure measurements are converted into meters of altitude or feet of altitude or in kil kilometers per hour or miles per hour in speed. And all of those are done by what's called an air data test set to calibrate the instrumentation of the cockpit. And just about every single air data test set is calibrated by fluke pressure standards. And world Metrology Day is a day where measurement scientists from around the world celebrate the past and the future of metrology, the science of measurement. It commemorates the, the signing of the Treaty of the Meter in May 20th of 1875. And that really set the stage for the measurement system that we have in place today. The ferries in Washington State transport over 24 million people per year. They're propelled by a 3.5 megawatt, 4,160 volt motor. The maintenance staff use a wide variety of fluke industrial test tools to measure the voltage, current, and temperature of these propulsion systems. Rail systems have many transducers that convert mechanical quantities like force, speed, and acceleration into electrical quantities. And as a result, there's a large array of test instrumentation on trains to monitor these measurements throughout the day. I invite you all to take a moment to appreciate all the measurements, big and small, that enable us to go about our days with confidence so that we can trust our transportation systems. And on behalf of Fluke Corporation, happy World Metrology Day.